All right, so I'm back, and uh, this week we're just going to go a little bit more in depth about what we were speaking about uh, on our last session. We were talking about those five things that you could be aware of, that you need to be aware of on your journey, right? If you're looking to really uh, shape your life into the life that you 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 really want, right? If you're um, looking to develop yourself, if you're really on that verge of uh, just becoming the best version of yourself, these are five things that you need to be aware of on your journey, right? Um, like I said before, these are things that you don't need to invest money into, right? These are things that you don't need to contact somebody else to get feedback where you have to wait for their response. Uh, these five things that we've been talking about that you need to be aware of on your journey are things that you can do uh, internally. These are things that you can do for yourself, all right? about yourself right it's all an inside job right it's all an inside job so uh today in this session we're just gonna go uh into that first one that we spoke about last week we were talking about analyzing your crew and how important that is to analyze your crew right the people that you communicate with most often right the people that you email most often the people that you text message with most often the people that you uh, go out and hang out with most often right uh, analyze your crew Right. But that's where we stopped last week. And I told you I was going to come back so we could go a little bit more in depth. So I just don't leave you guys hanging with like, all right, well, I analyze my crew. Now, what do I do? All right. So um, just a simple exercise that anybody could do. Again, you don't need anything, really. All you need is a piece of paper, right? A piece of paper and a pen. Right. You draw a line down that blank piece of paper on the left side. You just want to put a, a plus sign and on the right side. You want to put a minus sign. Right. And draw a line down the middle plus minus. Right. Now that you have that, it's really just really simple as you're analyzing your crew. And for those that did the exercise already and you already analyzed your crew and you put your, you know, the people that you communicate with most often on a piece of paper. Now, uh, as you're looking down that list. Right. And you could think about the people you already communicated with today. Right. How many text messages did you text messages did you already get today? Right. As you're analyzing your crew, you're going to find that there's only two types of people that's going to be in your crew. Right. People that add to your life and people that take away, uh, you know, from your life. All right. Whether they're anything else, you know, whether they're black, white, uh, from America, from another country, it doesn't matter. But their 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 core character and your interaction and your chemistry is they're either going to add something into your life or they're going to be taken away uh, stuff from your life. All right. So what you want to do is, again, I like to call it personal inventory. Every six months or every 12 months, you need to analyze your crew and see who needs to be moved up on that positive list and who needs to come down on the negative list or who needs to rise up, who, who started out negative, but now they're working their way up, right? And we spoke about last week, too. You don't have to eliminate these people from your lives, right? You just, if you're communicating with the wrong people too much, right, you want to cut back, right? You want to... Um, you want to cut back on the time. If you're hanging out with somebody that's taken away from your life uh, 10 hours a week, you want to figure out a way that you can maybe do only five hours a week with that person. And then maybe you work your way down to two hours based on how they're developing as individuals themselves. All right. So um, just zero to 10, right? Zero to 10, right? Zero to 10. You just rate them, right? Once you have them on the positive or negative side, now you just rate them, right? On a scale from zero to 10. How much does this person add to my life on a scale from zero to 10, right? Zero to 10, right? 10 is the max, right? For that negative side, right? If, if someone's always taken away from you and they're a 10 on that, right? You have some things that you need to consider. But now that you've analyzed your crew, now you can do something. All right, we're going to come back next uh, next session. We're going to come back and we're talking about uh, the second thing that you need to be aware of on your journey. I'm going to give you an exercise that you can really uh, do on your own, right? And, and I promise you, if you do these five things, you're really going to start to see yourself develop into that person, to the, better, the, the best version of yourself that I know you want to become, all right? Um, last thing in regards to analyzing your crew, all right? Once you've analyzed your crew, it's important that you, uh, you know, you have to figure out a way to dedicate time to those relationships, right? Especially those stronger ones. You need to figure out how you can dedicate more time. If your calendar is already filled, right? If you're a busy, busy person, I'm still telling you, um, the people you surround yourself around is so important to your growth and your development, 
right? So you want to, if you have some strong relationships, you want to make sure that you're taking time and dedicating some time to those relationships, right? Whether if it's a, a, a trip to, uh, to Starbucks or a trip to Panera Bread, right? It doesn't have to be anything spontaneous like a weekend getaway, right? It could just be something simple, but you want to make sure that you dedicate time to those relationships, especially those stronger ones as you're analyzing your crew, all right? And this goes back to an old thing, rule of thumb, right? If you're, um, I know a lot of people like to use the, uh, if birds of a feather flock together, all right? But let's, let's do something that we all, um, can relate to, all right? We can all agree that if you're around somebody that has a cold or they have flu symptoms, right? Um, I know how I am personally. If I know that someone has a cold or a flu, I'm staying away from that person as much as possible. If I'm hanging with them and they just told me they got a cold or a flu or they're sneezing and stuff, you know, I'm, 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 I'm keeping a little bit of distance, right? Keeping a little distance. I think everybody is the same way because that stuff is contagious, right? And that's the same way analyzing your crew is, right? There's people that you're, communi you're, you're communicating with the wrong people too much, right? And in some cases, you're communicating with the, the right people too little, right? So you have to analyze that. Take some time, right, before you go to bed. And if you ask me, when can I start this? When should I start it? Do it today, right? Do it today, exclamation mark. Do it today. My name is Billionaire Brown. I am the author of one of the top ebooks that's out there right now when it comes to personal development and business. It tells my story, right? We've sold just under 7,000 uh, hard copies as well as downloads. We're really excited about that. We're still far away from our goal of 10,000, all right? So we can go to some of the publishing houses, all right? So if you didn't get the, the ebook yet, go ahead and Google Silver Dollar ebook, download your copy, share it with your business partner, share it with your friends. I am 100% sure out of this entire book, you'll definitely find something that you can apply in your life that'll help you become the best version of yourself. Peace.